What up Sailor Senshi, my name is Sailor Snubs, welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and reviews. Today I have three different items to show you and all of these are kind of along the same topic. They're jewelry, they're specifically rings, and all of them are from Japan. I wanted to show you these together because they're all premium products and these are all made to be engagement gifts or wedding gifts as well, so for wedding rings. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start with these two and I'll end with this one because this one is the big special one for me. So first off I'll go ahead and open this box. I don't know which one is which. Both of the first two are from a company called U Treasure. U Treasure focuses on very nice top of the line jewelry products. Uh, they usually give you a variety to choose from so you can order like white gold, rose gold, regular gold, or you can also order silver or platinum for a lot of the different options. Um, this one in particular, this is the wedding ring that I purchased, which I realize right now, yes, I am married, but I really wanted this wedding ring because it's dope and I think it would look cool all by itself. So I'm definitely going to wear this and I don't care what people think. So this is the Moon Castle wedding ring. Uh, this is in silver, however, they did have other options. I loved the pink gold version, but it was way too expensive. So I decided to go ahead and opt for the silver version since, you know, it's not an actual wedding ring for me. <laughs> but this is a cool ring because on the front you get this awesome laser etching of the moon castle with earth kind of in the background. And then you also have a whole bunch of smaller buildings kind of encircling it. Now if your husband or if your wife or whoever has the same band, if you stick them opposite sides next to each other, it looks like a reflection of the moon castle in the water back and forth. It's really pretty for them together. Now these do come in a variety of sizes and as you can see here I was able to figure out my sizing based on the Japanese sizes that were available. Uh, so luckily it did fit and it fits pretty well so I was pretty happy with that. Now with this one I also received the engagement ring. So this is the second ring that I got from You Treasure and this is the Princess Serenity Engagement Ring, uh, which has cubic zirconias. There ain't no diamonds in here. It's all cubic zirconia. But this one also came in a variety of different kinds of metals. I got silver again because um, it was the least expensive one. Still pretty pricey for this ring though, uh, but it's really pretty. Surprisingly, the cubic zirconias are very sparkly and I love, love, love the design on the sides around the cubic zirconias. Uh, it looks just like the dress that Princess Serenity wears, so I can definitely see why they gave it that name. And if you wear them together, they look really, really cute. Definitely looks like a wedding band type thing. This would be a nice replacement for my actual wedding band and my actual diamond ring, you know, for travel or something. If I'm worried that somebody might steal my things, uh, I could put this on instead. Or maybe I'll just wear that weird rubber ring that I got for whenever I'm going in the ocean. But yeah, that's what they look like together. They look very cute. Now the last one that I wanted to show you today is not from You Treasure. It's actually from Premium Bandai, I believe. This one comes in an adorable box. This is a heart-shaped box and this is an engagement ring that is based off the engagement ring that Mamo-chan gives to Usagi. So when you open this, you will see that it says Let's get married, Usa. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god. Amazing. This is a holy grail item. So this was something that I really wanted, so I saved up for a lot. I ended up getting the platinum version with diamonds, and there's also a pink lab-created corundum. I don't know anything about corundum, so I don't know if that's a fancy gem or not. I think it's just a regular gemstone. I don't know if pink sapphires would be better or worse. I don't know. If somebody in the comments knows more about jewelry than I do, let me know because it's not my forte. I was a little worried when I ordered this because it was my first time ordering a ring from overseas and when I pre-ordered it, I accidentally ordered my American size, which is like four sizes smaller in Japanese. So when I received this, I would have gotten a small size that would not fit. So I panicked right after I ordered it and I asked, hey, can, can you order my actual size, which is this size, not the size that I wear in America? And they were like, well, we'll try. So I had no clue if I was going to get the correct size or not. And given that I spent so much on this platinum diamond ring, I was just like, 
panicking. I was so stressed out for like two months until the thing actually came in. And then I was like, oh, was like so much relief came over me because they actually got the right size. It's like, thank God. Whew. But I really like this ring. It's heck is sparkly and it's so pretty and it's just so perfect it looks exactly like usagi's ring in so many ways and there is one thing that i would say that is a negative about this ring and other than the expense because it's very pricey but the one thing that i would point out is that there's no holes on the back in the platinum you'll notice that with this there's holes behind the jewelry there's holes behind uh, the gemstones and that is to give them like breathing room, I guess you would call it, uh, so that when you clean these rings, you can actually get in there and get some water in between the gemstones and behind them because dust will collect, dust will get underneath these from up top, and that makes it a lot easier to get water in from behind so that it's easier to clean. These unfortunately don't have those, which means that it'll probably be a little bit harder to clean this. Now I do wonder if the U Treasure ones come with holes behind the jewels. And yes, this one does. So for example, the U Treasure one has a hole behind that cubic zirconia. So that's what I'm talking about. But all in all, I think that I made very happy, conscious decisions to purchase this jewelry, even though I'm slightly nuts, but that's okay. My husband just thinks I'm funny. Whenever I buy like engagement rings from Japan that are based off of Sailor Moon, he's like, why are you doing that? And I'm like, cause it's pretty and I will wear it. I promise I will. <laughs> Now, U Treasure does currently have another line out, which is based on the Five Inner Senshi, and this one has little gemstones. It looks kind of like this one, except a little plainer around the edges. Uh, their new line is actually their regular rings that you can wear even if you're not getting, getting married or engaged. Uh, in the pictures, for example, they have the models wearing them on their middle fingers. So it's definitely something that you might want to consider if you really want to get a nice piece of quality jewelry that's based off of Sailor Moon. Now that is it for my roundup for today of Japanese Sailor Moon jewelry. I hope you enjoyed it and if you want to ask me any questions about these pieces, let me know down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these kind of roundups and reviews. So let me know what you think below and like and subscribe and that's it. So my name is Sailor Snows. Thank you so much for watching. Johnny.